Hey guys, I uh, want to cover anchoring a little bit with you and just kind of talk about how to uh, know how much line and road to put out and uh, then how to set the anchor. Just a couple little things here. So as far as knowing how much line to put out, the most important part of that is if this is your boat, knowing how much water you're in. You need to know your depth. Uh, so if you're in 25 foot of water, the general rule typically is four times, some would say five times, but four times your depth. That's how much uh, road and line you should have out uh, when you drop your anchor. So in 25 foot of water, you want 100 foot of line. Uh, and then, so that's a general rule on how to do that. And uh, if you need to know then how to count out the line as you're putting it in, um, generally speaking, most people are as tall as their arms are wide. So for me, I'm 6'1", I know that if I take the line and I put it here and then I go hand over hand like this, I know that if I go three of them, it's 18 feet. And you know, I can do that all the way out until I get where I need to be. Uh, it's close enough to know where you are. So uh, your wingspan is typically your height. That way you know that distance and you can count it out that way. So once you know how much line you want to put in, best way to do it is come up higher, you know, where you want your midpoint to be or your center point to be in your anchoring. Now you, you got to know that if you have a hundred foot of line out, you need a hundred foot from this point in all directions because you're going to come back, back a little bit. Now you'll be at an angle. You can do the math. You know, it, it, I just like to leave the full amount of the line. That way I know I'm not going to get anybody else's way. So what I would do is come up, drop the anchor, have the rest of the line kind of up on the bow. And then I would let the boat, uh, I would let the boat drift back and uh, just let the line out as it drift back and then cleat it off or, or um, clip it off when I need to when it gets to the point. Once I let all that line out and my boat's back here now and my chain and road are all the way down here and the you know the chain and the road and the anchor are going to kind of sit. I want to I want to set that anchor because just drifting back oftentimes you're just going to kind of pull it a little bit. So what I do is I put the boat into reverse and I'll throttle up about a quarter throttle maybe half at most. And I'll do that for just a couple seconds to allow that anchor to really dig in because that anchor is going to be sitting down there like this with the chain. And uh, when you pull it back, it really lets that dig into the sand and then it's going to hold you. Uh, in the south end of the lake, we pretty much have sand everywhere, so you don't have to worry as much about rocks. Uh, you might use a different anchor if you were anchoring in rocks than, than we use down here. But in general, that's a pretty good rule of thumb. So uh, if you have any questions about anchoring, uh, feel free to let us know if you want some hands-on training. We're going to have a couple of training sessions and we can always take you out, show you how to do it, uh, and show you kind of how to get the feel of, of putting it down. Now when you take it up, what I typically do, if you have a windlass, one of the boats has a windlass, you just kind of hit the thing and it'll pull you up nice and easy. Uh, if you don't, then uh, I just kind of hand over hand. I'll put it into the anchor locker as I go. Once I get to where the boat is over top, pull it straight up, uh, clean it off, and then you're, you're all set. If for some reason it's not wanting to come up, what you may do is have the, the uh, person at the helm go into forward a little bit, just come a little bit past it, making sure that you're not hitting the edge of the boat, side of the boat with it. And then it's going to pull that anchor. It's going to spin that anchor and pull it right out. So if it feels like you're stuck, maybe got into some mud, uh, a little bit of forward and it'll pull it right up and then you can pull it in and it should be good. So uh, if you have any questions, let us know. Thanks, guys.